This video took quite a while to make, so if I were to ask any two things from you guys, then I would really, really love it. If you could, one, maybe consider subscribing, and two, go on Twitter on this link and follow Skeppy and share with him the video. I would love it if he sees this, because this would be awesome. Anyway, here you go. I really hope you enjoy the story of how I tricked Skeppy's staff into false banning me on invaded lands. Let's get right into it. I hope you enjoy. Right off the bat, let me just say, I am a huge, humongous Skeppy fan. I have notifications for both of his channels, and I watch his videos every day with great enthusiasm. And so I thought, wow, I would love to support Senpai Skeppy and get on his server. So I did. And But I didn't want to do nothing, because I, I love survival and all, but I have videos to record. I like Hypixel as well. I wanted to do something extra special. Special on Skeppy's survival server, and I thought, well, he catches x-rays a lot, so what if I were to spread a positive message about x-ray? Well, since the moment I joined Invaded Survival, I had a mission. I wasn't going to sur play survival like every other player. No, 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 no. Skeppy Senpai wouldn't notice me. I needed to get his attention, and so I did so with a plan to get false banned for x-ray. The journey was not an easy one, and before I go any further, I just want to say, me and my friend Speedish, who helped me with this whole thing, we did not x-ray at all. We never once x-rayed throughout this whole process of invaded lands. I just want to clarify that right now, I do not condone x-raying, and I do not encourage it whatsoever. Do not x-ray. This was just for comedic and skeppy senpai purposes. That said, the first step of our wonderful plan required us to get an enchanting table, so we decided to dig straight down, hope for the best, and start raiding bases until we found our own home and a good place to live. After about a day of searching and collecting resources, like, not a whole day, but a few hours, me and Speedish stumbled across someone like KYR Speedy's base, and luckily, he didn't claim it. So we decided to take refuge and actually claim the base as our own. And after watching some YouTube tutorials, thank you Skeppy server, we managed to figure out how to claim and claimed this poor guy's entire base and took shelter. This was our new hub, and underneath it we constructed a mine and began a strip mine right there. This was the first step in building the empire that would eventually get me perm banned from the server. But what now? Well now came the hardest part, actually finding Silk Touch and it was two whole days until we found anything that helped us. The first idea we had to get Silk Touch was the Brutal Way. We had gotten Obsidian from uh, the very kind KYR Speedy's Nether Portal and made our own enchantment table. Well, what now? The plan was to enchant pickaxes over and over until we get Silk Touch, but that required levels. So my first strategy, because I wasn't really good at making farms and we were too poor to buy anything because I don't know how server economy works, well, our plan was to go into the nether and mine a bunch of quartz, but that was a very slow process, and I died three times due to excessive wither spawnings. I ended up getting a few levels, but lost them, and then my inventory got full of diamond hoes. Don't ask why, it was a very hard process to get levels, and not rewarding in the slightest. By this time, a few hours had gone by of quartz mining, and to no avail, so I began to get desperate. And I started asking around in the chat if anyone had any Silk Touch for sale. Nobody. Nobody answered me. I was a non. I then I asked, I mean, I then got a request from this kid who said that he was selling free enchanted books, Tropical. And I was so happy. But guess what? He didn't have Silk Touch. There had to be another way. And things were looking hopeless. I was giving up. Until Speedish found a base. Survival is different from factions because of how claiming works. Claiming in survival is so much better. All you have to do to get your land is to claim it and you're safe from intruders. And these people, they forgot. Speedish stumbled ab across an abandoned store while raiding and it wasn't claimed. The chests were stockpiled with cookies, resources, smooth stone, which is something else that you really needed and I'll explain why in a moment. And best of all, one Silk Touch book. We did it. We got a Silk Touch book. Not from hard work, but from raiding. Not, now I think about it, we didn't do a lot. We just did a bunch of mining. We didn't build our base, we didn't get the Silk Touch. But now, the plan was finally set in motion. We had a Silk Touch diamond pickaxe. 
So now you might be thinking to yourself, what is he going to do to get x-ray banned? Well, I'm not a server owner, but I recently noticed that in a lot of Skeppy's videos, he says the anti-cheat can pick up on x-rayers. How is this possible? I have no idea. But my assumption was that the more diamonds you find, the more diamond ore you find in a quick period of time, the more the anti-cheat suspects you of hacking. So what did I go and do? Well, my plan was to get as much legit diamond ore as possible with the Silk Touch pickaxe. Find diamonds and mine them with Silk Touch. This is why we needed so much smooth stone as well. Afterwards, as you can see on screen, I would go into my mine and randomly place the diamond ore in, spe in, in random locations and then cover it up with smooth stone, but not before memorizing the coordinates and writing them down on a piece of paper. That way, once I got a large enough cult following, I could go to the diamonds by looking at the cords on my index card right next to me. That way, it would look like I'm x-raying, but actually, I'm only going to diamonds that I placed by hand. So, I began. I set up all the diamonds and told Speedish to come with me. He will be my first helper. I, yesterday I did the same thing, but only one person really like actually came to me and he was like, oh, Weefies is x rang and even reported me, but I really got no attention at all. So I had to cut my losses and collect my ore and then place it all in new locations because I had mined all of it up. But today, today was the day. I had told Speedish to distribute the ores as to make me seem less suspicious, and after logging on, I quickly advertised as you saw previously if anyone wanted free diamonds in chat. My plan was, was to get as many people as possible to try to think that I was x-raying so they would report me, so staff would notice me. Hopefully Skeppy, but that didn't work out. It still worked perfectly though. As you can see on screen, these are some of the funniest things people said. Well, I, I'm not going to share the whole footage, just like 30 minutes. But of me just going around, getting a bunch of TP requests, and people thinking I'm Skeppy, people thinking I was paid, people thinking I'm lucky. It's absolutely insane, and it's absolutely hilarious, because I was never x-raying the entire time. Let me show you.
dude Sav has permanently banned you. So there you have it. That was my legit reaction. That was my. Well, this is the only part that I didn't voice over. That was my legit reaction to being banned by Sav. Thank you so much to S Zero V for banning me. You did your job very well. Thank you to all the people who followed me. Be sure to tell this to Skeffy. I. You don't have to, but I thought it was a really fun video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I put a lot of time into this, so thank you so, so much for watching. It does mean the world to me. If you haven't made it this far, then consider subscribing, because I did mean you liked the video. That would be awesome. But I'll see you on the next one. Peace out from a fake x-rayer. Damn, I'm perm-banned uninvaded now. Must suck.